Well, we are here at Matchbook Marvels in Matchstick. Matchstick Marvels in Gladbrook, Iowa. And I am talking to June. June? Mm -hmm. Well, June, how long have you been working here? Well, um, I would say for 10 years because we were gone in our professional life for 35 and then we moved back here 10 years ago. And this is all volunteers. Wow, this yep. is just gorgeous. Yep. And now what's the gentleman's name that built all this? Through Pat, Pat Atkin. Pat Atkin. Mm -hmm. A-T-C-O-N. All right, wow. I'm going to show you <laughs> some of the things that he's built through all through matchsticks. This one here is USS Iowa BB-61. It's its 100... It's 170 scale model of the battleship USS Iowa. It contains 137,000 matchsticks. This one took over 800 hours to build. He has done so many of these, I just can't get over it. This one here is the Terrace Hill. It's a, a scale book. Replica, re replica of the Iowa Governor's Mansion, Terrace Hall. This one here required 193,000 matchsticks to build with over a quarter of a million individual pieces. Can you imagine? I don't know if I could even put one in there without it. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Over here is, this one is not completely finished, right? Right. You said that... Uh, he's waiting for some information on the little helicopter that goes on it. Okay, so he's waiting for some information. Uh, this is uh, the new full-size Mars Rover model. This requires 880,000 matchsticks and 28 gallons of wood glue. Can you imagine? And he's done this, you said, all by himself. Yep. And he started out with the regular matches that he had to cut the sulfur head off of. And, um, and now he can get the matches, or he could, he could get the matches without the sulfur head. But about a year ago, the matchstick company went out of business. Oh, wow. So they ran one special run for him, and there's cases and cases and cases of them sitting upstairs in the upper level of this. Oh, wow. So he'll have some to go on for a while. And you said he's done this all by himself? Yep. Yep. Amazing. Does it in his house. In his house. Yep. And then how did he, how did they... Um, pull them apart to get it in through the door, you said. Oh, it comes apart in pieces that fit through a regular size um, doorway. Okay. So, so, yep. And then when they got it in here, they kind of put it, put back, it back together. together. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, very, very nice. Yep. Over here, everybody must know what this is. It's the American bald eagle. The sculpture of our country's national bird has a wingspan of four feet and is made of 15,000 matchsticks. Its construction is very unique as each feather was made individually and glued in place one at a time. I can't show you everything he has in here but if you're ever in this area you will just have to come and see for yourself this is USS the Sullivans this model of the destroyer of USS the Sullivans pays tribute to the five Sullivan brothers who were killed in action when their ship, the light cruiser USS Juno, was sunk off Japanese torpedoes off Galka, I can never now pronounce that, 
Guadalcanal on November 13, in 1942. The five local boy, local area boys, pictured left to the right. I can show you this. Joseph Francis, Albert Madison, and George, all from Waterloo. Oh, yeah. This is so amazing. I would never imagine seeing anything like this. It is just, just amazing. This is the United States Capitol. This model of the United States Capitol took 478,000 matchsticks. Can you imagine? And 10 gallons of carpenter's glue. And well over 2,000 hours to construct. <laughs> now this man over here is Russ Jungland. And a good friend of ours that brought us over here to see this spectacular place. We've been staying at his place, and wow, what a lovely, lovely host he has been. Say hi, Russ. Hi, Russ. 